I'm going to help you to understand what's going on musically with this song called With a Love in My Heart. You're going to get my expert analysis alongside my reaction to the video. So to help you understand what's going on musically. So let's check it out. Here we go. So that sounds like some kind of cluster chord, you know, with the synth. Or synths. <laughs> I can hear. I can hear an E. I got no ways to find it. No oh, da, da, da. D. All right, it would seem. All right, let's try and see what notes you can pick up from that first chord. So it would seem that we're in the key of D. Like a kind of major nine on the D like there's a lot of notes in there to be it's a lot of color tones but essentially over on D major chord oh, I can hear a I can hear a B a, a B as well mm. I can also hear the D <laughs> a lot of notes in there <laughs> So that pretty much confirms that we're in the key of D at this point, at least. No song to sing, no hand to hold, no star to guide, no tears to cry, no fire to burn. No Looks like a Yamaha five string bass, alright. No help alone, no in the hand, no part before, no chains around, no fear within. Yeah, all over that kind of situation right there, yep. Hey! <laughs> slugging <laughs> and just when you think you got it <laughs> you hit a speed bump dum, dum, dum. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey. that's the five by the way the world of d is as such this is the major the major scale oh, G. all right so we had an a big a going down to a g there's the A. G. He said, I need somebody to understand my soul. Somebody to tell me where to go. And I don't want to play the drums. Traveling on my own. She said, I'll be the one when we come along. He said, Do you want to dance with me? Or do you want to dance? I've been sitting. Something about the E. It would seem like we're still in the key of D though. Okay. To the G, so we had an A and then A B G. her with the the horns it's like a wow and that was over the d so that's essentially creating a and this is the classic thing i've noticed with uh, jacob collie with his use of inversions so essentially implying a d major second inversion with that first note um b and then to the chord four essentially g one two three four let's check it out That's pretty clear. Yeah. G major seven. Yeah. Yeah. That was beautiful. That, that line. Yeah. Oh, you hear those kind of. You know, the, it's the articulation, man. <laughs> Some kind of synth is doing it, so like a bell kind of sound. Right. Here. Yeah, boom, boom. <laughs> that kind of effect. <laughs> Alright, let me catch what those chords were. That was that was quite a few, so G. 
da do. So got gonna have like an add two with the D, still mm. inversion, second inversion of the D. G. E minor. Yeah. G. Okay, we're moving. Impact. I love that. I like that. That's a beautiful line. Someone to make my heart beat. I don't want to fucking do something. I want to catch what that line is. Someone to make my heart beat. You better play the drums. You better play the drums, Jacob. All over. E minor. Head of strings. No song to sing, no hand to hold, no star to guide, no breeze to blow, no tears to cry, no fire to burn. Yeah, no I felt the sub as well, I felt the sub. No sea to sail, no sky above, no hell below, no wind behind, no part before, no place to hide, no lust to find, no Where jet. are we going here? Where are we going? This is... This E, okay. No fear within me, no wings to fly, no song to sing, no hand to hold, no star to guide. to a G, so E minor, E minor, you could sing, you, you could think about it, but it's just a single note, to be honest, then to the G. Stylistically, that was so interesting, let me just hear that one more time. Funky with the guitar, E, so E, yeah. G. Back to the E. The G. <laughs> and we change it. Doing the E man. G. <laughs> I like that. That was like a passing. That was that was really cool. They had like an E minor, and they had like a so like a passing D to G. That was cool. So E Yeah That's like 5, 1 If you think about the G As our destination 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 G And um, the D being the 5 1 Bit of um, cycle of fifths going on there Nice the love of my heart, somehow I found you. Wow. Quick switch, eh? <laughs> okay. Some kind of F sharp seven? Somehow I found you. Okay. What was 
that. One moment, please. Oh, no. Tritones. All right, let me catch that one first. That one just came out of nowhere. All right, so context, yeah. So this is all in relation to like an F sharp seven. diminished uh, yeah, I think it's yeah that kind of feel what we're going he's implying a diminished and that's actually really important so that's actually a good option to know so if you're like comping on a on a seven chord like a dominant chord like uh, uh, getting the diminished <laughs> referencing that over F sharp seven in this case, or any dominant. Thinking, okay, what is the diminished of that, and getting it in there, just just a little bit of spice. That's something I've definitely heard before. So, like, so that being the diminished right there, yeah, yeah, really kind of pulls a bit with the harmony, but it works really, really well. And that sounds like what he's kind of doing there, because I heard these those notes in particular, and that's the in relation to that. F sharp, that, that'll be the diminished. Yeah, anyway, back on track. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Sounds like oh, there's a lot here. You know, sounded like something like that. Something like that. <laughs> I hear the count. Come on. So we're definitely in that, yeah, in that F sharp world. Yeah. I'm dominant. That line is so nice. in a bit of that doo -doo. Oh, leave it. <laughs> that diminished in there would work perfectly that's so cool okay, added a bit of a harmony oh, that's so cool <laughs> perfect example Did you hear that right there? That diminished situation. That's exactly what I was talking about. Over dominant chords. Getting the diminished. He's choosing to go boom, boom. Still taking notes from the diminished. Ah. Ah, so nasty, man. <laughs> the bass. Again, <laughs> over the dominant. Very interesting. I like that. Okay. Are we in the key of D? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> The glass has shattered. That's so peaceful. 
Keep in motion. Keep in. Well, I can hear that ringing out. Dun, dun, dun. So maybe we are still in the. Stay unspoken. I must say, you know, I've done a few reactions to Jacob, and he's got an excellent way, you know, of coming back to certain keys in a way that is so masterful. You know, after all that we've had with all this F sharp, you know, dominant stuff, somehow he's enabled us to get still back to D in a way that doesn't seem, you know, too extreme. Really, really clever. And if I'm broken. Keep me open. Keep in motion. Ah. Okay. Sounds like a sus chord. Stay unspoken. Stay unspoken. If I'm broken. Yeah, that's definitely a sound like a one to a sus. Yeah, in this case I was going down chromatically, so yeah, to C major over D essentially. Keep me open. Yeah. Oof. Keep in motion. hear that with the piano oh that's beautiful man <laughs> keep in motion oh. Stay <laughs> we have to catch that let's catch what that is and remember this is all over like a d the word of d If I got all of those, yeah, down, down, down. <laughs> Stay <laughs> the subtle things. And if I'm broken, if I'm broken. All over that D. Oof. Kind of back to how we started the, the video, yeah. We see the five string bases back with the mirror. Wow, <laughs> guys! If you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>